Today, we're going to stand here and drink wine and get drunk. Well, I don't really drink wine. I've tried it quite a few different times, but I've never found one that I care for. So, what we're going to do, we're actually going to make a wine rack that I can give away as uh, birthday and Christmas presents. Uh, I went and picked up a bottle of wine because I don't own any. I even had to go buy a wine glass because I don't own any of them either. My beverage of choice generally comes in a can. When I'm done with the wine rack, this will probably just get dumped into a, uh, a pasta sauce or something. You know, some, some sauces call for a red wine, some call for a white wine. This is an all-purpose wine. This is pink. It'll work in both recipes. I think that's how that works. But I just had to buy the bottle and the glass for sizing purposes so I know how to uh, cut my boards, how big they're supposed to be. Uh, the concept of this is it's going to look like a pallet instead of just going and getting a pallet and cutting it down and making a uh, uh, wine rack out of it. I have a big stack of wood out there. It's old barn wood. The guy gave to me and just had to come and load it up so I got a freaking trailer load full of lumber. And it's all aged wood so it's got that uh, gray patina or whatever the hell you call it on there. So it'll look, it'll work really nice to make a uh, what's considered a rustic palace style uh, wine rack. So first thing we need to do is figure out our dimensions, get a board, start cutting. So let's start breaking down some boards. So I got this board here. We're going to run it through the mill, make sure it's not rotten. Looks like there might be some funky spots here and there. We'll run it through the mill and kind of clean it up a little bit. We don't want it to be too freaking clean. And we'll use this as our size. Yeah, it got that outside surface off there, and it's still pretty decent looking board. Now we just got to figure out what our sizings are going to be. And there's going to be the top across here, so there's got to be enough room that you can lift it up off the shelf. We're going to have a shelf that's going to be roughly four inches. I think we put our shelf right there. That should give more than enough clearance. Then we got to come down, and below this is where we're going to hang the wine glasses. And we'll probably drop that down. We'll go five inches down. That'll leave us room. Nah, five inches too far. Let's go with three inches, and then there'll be a, a board on the bottom. So our overall length, we're going to be just a little over 23 inches. And then we'll come down from the top, I think about one and a half inches. So this will be top of where our shelf will be. So now we got to make it look like a pallet. This will be our bottom. This will be where the shelf is. This will be where the top goes. And we're going to cut a section out of this. We're going to do, we'll just take our wine bottle right here, and we're going to measure in. We're going to come in about three inches. And this section is going to get removed. We'll take our wine bottle, set it on here. And we'll use that as a pattern, put in a curve. All right. Now I got to cut this part. I 
All right, so I cut two boards, same length. These are going to be our back rails. It's going to support everything. The section that I drew out with the wine bottle curve, we're going to take and cut this out on the bandsaw real quick. I'm going to take this old nasty board here, run it through the face plane, clean it up. We'll start cutting it down to make the cross pieces in the shelf. So now we need our whip. So now it's which one is wider. They look like they're both pretty much exactly the same width. So we'll just continue using the wine bottle as our space. So how wide is the bottle of wine? We're looking at two and seven inches, so we'll just call it three inches. Three inches times four needs to be twelve. We'll probably add a little bit of extra to that, give it a little gap between them, and then we have to account for that width. We got three inches here, so we're going to go, let's say, 15 and a half. We're going to need, what do we need, four? One for the front, one for the shelf, one for the top, one for the bottom. So yeah, we need four. So I'm probably going to have to go out and find another one of these old twisted up boards. But through the planer, it actually looks like a nice board. Let's see what I can get out of this. All right. So. One of them there. One in there, one in there. This one, I guess, we got to trim down to go in between here. This will be our shelf. So all these, I got to rip these down. No, no. Got to rip this one down. Shelf, so we got to rip that one down as well. Now I need a piece to go from here to here, and I need my back strips. So I gotta find another craft piece of wood. Alright, so I got some old barn siding just cut up into chunks. I'll take and run this through the mill, clean it up, and then we'll cut her into strips. Alright, got some more board to run through the mill. It's old barn siding, so it's got these uh, angle cuts on them. I'll rip them off, and I'm going to rip this into strips.
This is going to be our bottom board, what we're going to uh, hang the wine glasses off of. We'll want to mark the inside where your outside rails are going to go. Mark them lightly. Then we need to, we're going to have four glasses, four bottles of wine. We need to divide this. And so we're, we're sitting at approximately 12 and a half. 12 and a half divided by 4 is going to be a calculator. If we need to measure this off, let's find the midpoint. Weigh that out. Draw a line there. See how much distance we got. I got the board marked out in four separate quadrants. One there, there, and there, and there. And we need to find the center of each of them. We want to find the midpoint of this board, which is three and three quarter. Half three and three quarter is one and what, one and seven eighths. center line, a center indicator on all four of our quarters. I know you probably won't be able to see that on there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to drill a hole here, 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 and here. When we drill them holes, then we'll draw a line straight down from the hole and we'll cut that out. And what that's going to do is allow the line to stem slide up in there and then sit on the shelf. straight down from the edge of the holes take us over to the bandsaw and cut these strips out quick all right that fits pretty good I need to do something to kind of recess this area and I need to sand this down and put a dish on it so that the wine glasses sit in there better. So if there's any vibration, it doesn't just vibrate right out of the slot. Try right. sanding drum and drum real quick. See what that is.
looks like a pallet. I've got a grand total of uh, basically nothing wrapped up into it. The lumber was free. It's just crap lumber that was given to me. Uh, wood glue and some brad nails, but you know how much did I actually use on there? Freaking 50 cents worth of materials. I'm gonna go and buy a couple of hangers. I think they're three bucks. And you can build this with basic hand tools. You don't have to have a band saw. You don't have to have a, a miter saw. You don't have to have a mill. Uh, just depends on what kind of lumber you have, how much time you want to invest in it. A drill, uh, a hand saw. You get like a, a little coping saw. You can cut these radiuses. Yeah, you, you can do this for almost nothing. Uh, hell, you could even build this in an apartment somewhere. And that's all there is. Quick little freaking pallet inspired uh, wine rack. Don't forget to hit uh, like, turn on notifications, hit subscribe if you didn't already, and I will see you next time.